Okay, welcome to another exciting tutorial presented to you by FRC Team 2168. Today I'm going to show you how to re-image your C Rio for the 2013 development. Uh, in this example, I'm going to do it for Java, but the process should be the same for C++ or LabVIEW. And because I'm doing it for the first time myself, I'm going to run through all the steps and not skip anything. So you need to perform this update for 2013. It's mandatory, and if you don't, you're going to learn the hard way once you try and deploy code from the 2013 template that it won't work. There's a check within the deploy command to verify that your Serial image is up to date. And I'm going to run that test for you right now. I have a Serial with an old image running, trying to deploy the 2013 template, and you're, you're going to see that after it's finished building, it's going to fail. And it fails, and you can see why it fails. It says expected version um, is version 47, but we got version 43 instead. So in order to continue, you need to update with the latest software. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And so the first thing we're going to do is go to the first website, and we're going to download all of the required software that we're going to need. If you go to the resources link, and then click on technical resources. It's cryptic in here, but you need to download the 2013 driver station, the LabVIEW utilities update, and then also you need to update your your Java C++ or LabVIEW. So let's go ahead and download these items. And unfortunately, you need to log in, so I'm just going to. Uh... And once you log in, you'll come to the screen to download. I'm just download the standard version. I'm going to go back and download the other guys as well. Now since my computer has already been updated to the latest Java, I don't need to download any of the Java updates. And if you're looking to update your Java development environment, be sure to check out my video for setting up Eclipse for 2013. So once you have these both downloaded, we're just going to extract them and then run the installers inside of them. Okay, now that they're all installed, unfortunately, you are going to need to restart your computer. I ran into problems and it wouldn't connect simply because I didn't restart my computer. So we'll go ahead and restart your computer and I'll continue the video when I'm done. Okay, now that we're back and everything's installed, just a quick note, you don't really need to install the driver station utilities, but it's just a nice to have. Um, so now that everything's installed, I'll show you where they went to. Uh, if you notice, I didn't uninstall my 2012 imaging tool so uh, everything got installed on top of each other if you go to my computer um, go to your national instruments folder under program files and then there's going to be a lab view 2012 folder within there and go to project and then you have your c rio tool as well as your access camera tool in this folder and if you open your Serial Imaging tool, we run into a problem where you need the latest runtime edition. Um, I ran into the problem in 2011 as well. So if you do a search for the latest National Instruments runtime edition, um, you'll see you'll, you have to download the 2012 version. And since I'm running on a 32-bit machine, I'm going to download this one. But you can just simply do a Google search, and I'll do that for you. If you type in LabVIEW 2012 runtime, um, the first couple of links should point you to the right direction. So let's go ahead and download that. And it's this is a, a very big download. Uh, one of the other things that you may need to download, and we'll find out in a little bit, is the system configuration utility. Uh, and you can just do another Google search for that, and that's uh, for system 
config runtime national instruments. Uh, you should come to one of these guys and just download the latest NI system configuration tool. I don't know if the latest is 5.1 right now. And so we'll download this guy as well. And this is because we don't have a full installation of LabVIEW on our computers, I believe. Okay, so now that the LabVIEW runtime environment is downloaded, I'm just going to install that. Okay, so we're back. We just have to restart a computer after installing the LabVIEW runtime environment. So now we're going to try and launch a zero imaging tool again, and hopefully we won't run into any problems. And again, the imaging tool is installed in your National Instruments folder. And uh, if you don't already have a shortcut on your desktop, you can go ahead and make one. LabVIEW 2012 projects. Zero image tool. Okay, so before we launch it, let's just go ahead and verify our IP address. Uh, I need to change mine. Okay, now let's just verify that I'm connected to my robot. I can just do a simple ping test. And I am. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and launch the tool and hopefully we do not run into any problems and we don't. If you run into a problem here, I have the system configuration 5.0 installed on my computer. Uh, if you run into a problem here, maybe you need to install that and we I already showed you where to find the latest 5.1 so go ahead and install it and hopefully you don't run into any more problems. So you can see it already picked up in my Rio and the current image is 43 if you click on Java and Format Controller, it's going to say no images found in this location. Um, that's because um, that's because in order to have the images, you need to have the plugins installed. I do have them installed. I just maybe they're not in this location. Let's go ahead and you can just place them there. So, see, document setting administrator. As you can see, I don't have any um, Sunspot FRC SDK folder in here. So let me go ahead and copy that over. Now, if you don't have the uh, plugins installed, you can download them from my team website and I'll paste the link in the description. Okay, now that that folder is there, if you go inside of it, there's a serial images folder and there's the latest version 47. So let's restart this guy. Okay, so there it goes, it found my serial and it also loaded the latest Java controller. When you click on one of these items, it's going to automatically look for that controller image in the specified location. So for LabVIEW, the, the image locations must be in that folder. For C++, the image locations must be there. And for Java, the image locations must be in the Sunspot FRC SDK folder. So click on Format Controller. If you're using CAN, make sure you select which CAN you're using. Enter your team number and team ID, and then name this device somehow, and then hit apply. And once you hit apply, you'll see this configuration device window open, and hopefully you don't run into any timeout issues. If you do run into timeout issues, um, try going into safe mode, or try selecting no app on the switches down here, and hopefully that's going to help you out. As you can see, I'm using the old 8-slot serial for this test. Okay, so it says the device was successfully 
imaged. Now if I close this guy, it's going to research again and the current image is going to be 47 and we're done. Okay. Now I suggest you restart your serial before you try to deploy any code or else you're going to, you might run into a problem where you enter an infinite loop and I'll just show you what that is. On um, Eclipse, if I try to deploy this code now, So you see how it's waiting to connect to the OTA server for a very long time. That's because after you image a serial and you don't restart it, you run into this bug. It's a known bug. The fix is simply restarting your serial and then deploying again. So I'm going to stop this, restart my serial uh, manually, and then I'll try and deploy again. Okay, so let's try and deploy again. and. Um, before I do that, I'm going to just change something here. I'm going to type some code just so you know that we are actually running this code on the serial. Okay. So now let's deploy this code. Okay, and as you can see, we are now running the code on our robot. It has deployed successfully. And if I go ahead and start the driver station that we downloaded. There's the new 2013 driver station. And we need to set up our team number. No, I don't know why it says this. Well, it looks like I have full communication. And if I enable, I should see hello world in the output of my clips. And there you go. It's repeatedly shown hello world. And that's because we're running this loop periodically. So there you go. That's how to image your 2013 C Rio and deploy code successfully. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.